Hey Tube, what's up? Cal here. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm doing an iPhone tutorial. I'm going to start doing some more iPhone tutorials from now on. Um, uh, as an addition to my Mac tutorials, I will still do Mac tutorials, but I'm also going to be doing iPhone tutorials. So here's uh, one of my, uh, here's a recent iPhone tutorial that I'm going to do here. Um, so what it is, is how to get DocFlow 3.0 for your jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch. It does not work on uh, iPad, I think. Anyway, so here it is. So what it does is, as you can see on the bottom, uh, my icon, my dock layout here, there is um, five icons, obviously, and uh, it's kind of in a flowy kind of layout look kind of pattern thing. So here's how you do that. So first, it has to be jailbroken. Um, open up Cydia. Go ahead and open up Cydia. Wait for Cydia to load. Cydia does take a while to load. Um, that's why I, I used to use Rock which I liked better. Um, I love Cydia, but I liked Rock better. It just loaded faster. But um, whatever, irrelevant. Um, so go to search and type in DocFlow. And search it. Okay, and then scroll down until you see DocFlow 3. So go ahead and click on that. Okay, then you're in DocFlow 3. Um, wait for it to load, and then scroll down until you find uh, screenshots, and click on screenshots. And it's important you have to do this before you download it. Um, and so then you'll see something called Original, Alternate 1, Alternate 2, and Alternate 3. So what that is, basically, is when... Oh, sorry, guys. Um, so basically, what that means is whatever layout you want to have you have to kind of memorize it and then arrange your icons in your dock in that specific order. So by that, I mean like, well, let's say I like the iPhone in the middle, Safari on the end, messages in the side middle, uh, mail in the side middle, and I, uh, iPod on the end. So then I'll go exit the app, or exit Cydia, um, arrange my icons in that order, and then I will download DocFlow 3. So, I like original. You can choose whatever one. Let's say you like calendar in the middle, or what about, you know, messages, iPod, whatever. So, choose one of the uh, view layouts, or layouts, that you like the most. And then, I've kind of memorized the order, or write it down. I don't know. It's pretty easy to memorize. So, iPhone in the middle, messages, you know, whatever. So, then exit the app, um, and arrange, mine is already like that, but arrange it so that you get... So that you have the, to whatever layout that you decide. So I like your original, so I put iPhone in the middle, Safari on the end, messages, um, phone, mail, and iPod. So once you do that, go back into Cydia and download it. Once it's downloaded, go into Winterboard. And that will be down here. Okay. Um, so you'll see something, it'll say DocFlow 3.0, and then it'll say original, alt, 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 Alt 2, and Alt 3. So basically, whatever layout you decide to do, um, you check that layout. So I liked the original with the phone in the middle, so I went ahead and checked layout, and then brought it to the front. By doing that, you just hold here, see these little three bars, just click and hold there, and then you can drag it around, move it around. Um, but anyway, so once you've done that, you exit the application, or exit Winterboard, um, and then it will resprint. Okay, and so once it's done respringing, it will be in the dock flow look, kind of flow look, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's also a, a cool way to get uh, five icons in your dock, because that's pretty hard. Um, uh, if you guys message me, I can do a separate video on how to get any normal five icons in your dock um, without doing dock flow. Uh, if enough people message me, I'll put a video on it. Um, also, one thing you might... Uh, this is a pretty cool theme. It's one of my favorites. It's pretty awesome. It's got the kind of video wallpaper kind of thing. Um, and you can see it also changes like color from dark to light, whatever. Um, so this theme is called Chrome Pro, in case you wanted it. Um, so yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you later.